Okay, so Spock Talk, I'm going to respond to your video why the government needs to force people to do what is in their own interests. Now, you make the point that, alright, so people know what they want, but they don't know what makes them happy. I don't know if happiness exists or not. Although that's one of the true prime points in libertarianism, as the Green Ghost 2008 says. And on the contrary to what libertarian realist says. Now, but that's besides the point. You see, to me, in the United States government, we're only taught to consume. So we're really told, taught to get what we either want or don't want or don't need. Which is kind of the opposite of what you said. So instead of disagreeing or evaluating your points, I'm just going to ask a bunch of questions. Um, maybe you could help me out on this. It'll help you out, get your point across. And that'll definitely be well and nice. Let's say for the education system, if it's in our own interest to be happy, to have education, then um, why is that we're being taught things either the wrong way or the wrong things? Some mistakes in history books. There's a in English, you're not really learning how to read or write better as much as you're learning English appreciation. That's something I notice. Uh, for foreign language classes, you're not learning as much words as you need to at least be functionally illiterate because you're not learning through the proper method. And I calculated how much years it takes for you to actually learn the right way, averagely. If you learn 500 words a year, and you need 10,000 to be a functional literate. That takes about 20 years. Nobody has enough time to do that. Of course, this is all rough calculations. Um, what's more? Prisons. Prisons teach you how to consume, even jail. You go back, do another crime, and and you're basically just looking for a place that's warm, a place where you can live. Because sometimes people are in jail so much and they become recidivists because they don't know how to do anything else but to consume, but to be in jail. Okay, rehab. Let's say you're a drug addict. Alright, well now you're just going to another institution where you're going to consume by spending time at a different place, going into rehab more and more. Um, uh, and let's say it's not just drug addiction or just taking and buying stuff to help soothe this addiction like nicotine patches. Let's say you're just fat. Well, they're going to give you a diet. That means they're going to get you into new gyms, make you eat different stuff, consume different stuff. A lot of times these people have to go back to these rehabs again because or they have to present themselves that they have to go here again but they don't want to go so they don't because you know it could be tough um so what do you think are the solutions to these problems should government force people to do what's in their own interests how are they gonna do it for stuff like drug addicts Fatty people, criminals, um, people that are in the verge of or need to be educated on something, that need to develop an interest or an lack of ignorance or apathy and or of a certain subject that's vital to them and they don't know it for their own happiness. These are stuff that I'm curious about, and also a bunch of other questions. Because I really want to know. I feel like this is the easiest answer to certain problems.
you know, if there's someone's gonna force me into anything, if they should force me into something that's gonna make me happy. Cool, forced happiness isn't that quite dandy.